All right, so I've been back in the UK just over four weeks since getting deported from Thailand. And I've managed to stay really positive. I've actually been ridiculously positive. I'm really enjoying myself. I found an awesome church. Joined an awesome gym. Started a gardening service. Chilling with this one every day. And I've been really enjoying life. But today, this shit is getting to me. The greyness, the dullness, the regimentedness. Just everything, particularly the poison, the chemicals, the miserable people. I'm just, oh, I am so fucking done with it. Yeah, so for the first time, I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling like, why am I still fucking here? Because it's actually quite easy to be an expat. There's an amazing app or website called Workaway, and you can just volunteer your time for food and a bed, which I know seems scary. I was, a part of me was a bit scared about it, I suppose, because you're totally in the control or at the whim of whoever's looking after you. Other than the fact, you know, if you've got a bit of money, you can just fly somewhere else if they're dickheads. For a normal English person who's just worked a job, pretty scary thought to just go off and volunteer around the world, especially if you haven't got a lot of money behind you. Now, I was smashing it in Thailand. I had a business, you know, my life was really good, and I fucked it up and I got deported. And now I'm back in my parents' bedroom, trying to make the best of this shit up. And I keep, well, actually, I'm not even looking at work away that much, but basically today is the first day where I'm like, what am I doing? Why am I living under these poison skies? Like, why am I doing this? But then the other option, I'm volunteering on Workaway, and it is, once you look at Workaway, you'll see there is every option on there. Everything from working on a farm to a Christian community. I mean, just anything you can think of. It is, you could probably work in a sex club. I don't know, that might be a bit extreme, but I think that one is a bit extreme. It's more... <laughs> It's more like outdoorsy, uh, hippie, spiritual stuff. Um, lots of eco-villagers, lots of libtards, loads of woke bullshit. Uh, but also, you know, lots of great stuff. And I've been looking at, well, I'm not going to say what I've been looking at because of haters. Because I have a lot of haters on this channel because I speak a lot of truth and they don't like it. And they can't stand truth and they can't stand the reflection that I give to them. The reflection of truth and wisdom and why they're such a pleb. So, I'm not going to mention one I've been looking at until I'm there. Because I don't think it's going to be too long until I am there. Because if I do, the haters will be like, ah, in the little WhatsApp group, in the little Let's Destroy Tom's Life WhatsApp group, because we've got nothing better to do and we need to make other people feel as shit as we do. Especially people that are shining and full of joy, usually. And are creating things and doing everything that we can't do. Uh, let's destroy them. So, you'll just see me one day in a place like hiya i'm here and i am gonna do it but i think the main reason for stopping me is when you're in this shit hole admittedly this woods isn't shit this woods is gorgeous but you know the uk is shit uh, or what's been done to the uk is shit i should say the tyranny that we live under is really shit living under keir stalin is even worse than it was before because you literally don't know if you're white and you don't know when you're going to get put in prison because he's trying to imprison all the uh, indigenous population and just turn it into Muslim Istan because he likes Muslims, you see, and uh, 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 Fiora. All hail Keir Stalin! Fuck you, cunt! Uh, I'm not in a very good mood. Now, obviously, I'm not ridiculous enough to actually believe in politics and actually believe that Keir Stalin has, you know, won an election. <laughs> and, um, oh, maybe it'd be better if we get, if we, maybe we'll get better when we vote. I mean, people have been telling themselves oh, that's that for the last eight years or whatever with the Tories. And then we ended up with a fucking Führer, a Nazi fucking Führer, who is literally trying to take us to communism and is part of a Fabian society and is just an absolute cunt. Uh, oh gosh, that was a tangent. I meant to be talking about being an expat. Right, yes, so, being an expat. Have you ever done it? Let me know in the comments. 
because it isn't the dream you would think it is. So, why did I end up rushing into creating this place, this amazing place in Thailand, without really checking the law and getting myself into loads of trouble, ending up in jail and deportation? Because I was bored! Now, Thailand is amazing, but being an expat is boring, and this is why the haters hate so much as well, because they're all just purposeless, boring expats with nothing else to do. I and mean, obviously there was loads of them in the UK as well, they were all over the world, but I got stick from the libtards in my village, and particularly the ones that didn't have any purpose, which says loads of, loads of expats that have no purpose and just get shit-faced and have sex every night. Now, I can't say much about the sex because I'm currently battling a sex addiction myself. See here? But basically, being an expat without purpose is really boring. Now, could the purpose be like, oh, I'm doing 25 hours gardening a week or 25 hours building this eco hut a week? Not really. It's somebody else's purpose. Now, I could be, I could make YouTube be my purpose, obviously, like I do here. And then you fucking get three videos in a row, but you only get 200 views and you lose a Patreon member and uh, I think that might actually be what's triggered this funk that I'm in. But yeah, I'm really scared of being a purposeless expat. But then, I'm just a purposeless poison lander at the moment. So I might as well, you know, live in sunshine and chemical free skies and chemical free food and no, not be surrounded by woke blue haired libtards rather than staying here so I am getting to a point I think I'm getting to a point where I'm going to leave the UK very soon but yeah, let me know, let me know about your experience of being an expat because it's, you know, it's very easy to idolise it and I'm, I'm very aware, you know because what I'm not going to do is start another business abroad. No, not another bricks and mortar business. Now I actually am developing fantastic editing skills. I just need to learn how to use Canva and do thumbnails properly. And then I think I could actually sell myself as a video editor. And be like, now all these Bangladeshis might do it for £2 an hour, but they'll lie to you and they're just crap. Or you can pay me £15 an hour, or maybe £20 an hour, maybe £25 an hour. And uh, I'll do a, a really good job, a proper job, you know, but an intelligent person can do... No, that's a bit harsh, that's a bit harsh, that is a bit harsh. You can't expect, a man, at the end of the day, you can't expect, unless you've got really boring, bog-standard videos, cool videos, um, you can't expect a Bangladeshi to be able to do it for you, because they have no idea, from a different culture, and they lie, and they lie, and they lie, and they lie! That's my experience anyway. But I can't believe, I can't believe I'm actually about to say that I... I'm close to being able to be a digital nomad. Right, this is why I've always done bricks and mortar businesses, it's all I know, or services, like selling drugs. Um, and I've always looked at my mate Dave, who's lived in Thailand for eight years, with great envy. Envy. Like, yes, he's never done anything as exciting as me. Yes, he hasn't made as much money as me. But he consistently brings in the bills every month. 3K, 4K, 5K, 10K month! online and he can live wherever he wants now obviously he just stays in Thailand because it's the best country in the world but I'm actually at the point where I think I could offer a service online and make a living online so that's really cool plus my YouTube is very close to hitting 3,000 subscribers so please help me with that with a little click click and a like like now YouTube is obviously never going to get monetized because I speak like this uh, and I've only got one Patreon, but I still believe that I will make money from my YouTube if I just keep going. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. So, can I become a digital nomad? Or am I just going to volunteer? Like, I don't mind volunteering, especially in like cool projects. Um, but I need to be building something for myself. I know that. I know that. Like, I know that I can just idolize it from here. Like, oh, I'm just got, it'll be great, just gardening in the sunshine. I'll get fucked off with it. I will get fucked off with working for someone else and working for someone else's dream. Rather than creating my own dream, which is what I'm all about. So that's where I'm at, really. There's definitely a lot of resistance to doing it. 
Oh uh, yeah, like, I still feel like I'm meant to be here in UK. Like, I'm going for lunch with a friend on Friday and my auntie's coming over from Canada. I'm going to see her. I never thought I'd see her. I'm healing relationship with my parents. Oh my God, my mum. My mum yesterday, I said, she's gone to France to see my favourite child. And um, I said to her, have a great trip, mum. I really love you. And she said, I'm really enjoying having you here. Never thought I'd hear those words. So yeah, like, good things are happening. But then I'm getting poisoned. Everywhere I go. And it's... I say it's expensive. Like, when you're living in your parents... And honestly, living in my parents' of bedroom is fine. Like, I think if I wasn't, I'd probably relapse on cannabis. And I'd definitely be getting a lot more sex. But that's not a good thing, because it's just pointless. As you'll see in this video, when I walked out in the middle of a sex meet today, oh, that was awful. Oh my god. Oh no, I'll talk about that. Oh fuck it, I'll tell you. So yeah, it will be at the end of your video as well. So I walk out on this guy, right? This is how desperate he was. But I was whole. I just walk out, he's got a condom on everything. He starts lubing my pubic bone. I'm like, fuck you, mate. I'm not, I'm just not even fucking doing this. And then. In my desperation to escape myself when I get home, I'm trolling Grinder and anyone was like, wanna meet, wanna fuck, wanna suck me dick? I was like, hey, 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 hey. So I sent him a message after walking out on him two hours ago, going, hey, without realizing it was him, obviously. And he messages back going, hey. And then I, so then I click on it and I see it's him and I'm like, what? Are you honestly up for meeting me again? After I just ridiculed you and walked out on you? Like, this is how desperate these fucking faggots are on Griner. And yes, they are. No, I don't really like that word, but... They're just the worst. And he was the worst. He couldn't even talk. Anyway, I speak about it all in detail in that video that I shared. A minute ago. So yeah, let me know. Have you been an expat? Do you resonate with what I'm saying about this purpose thing? Do you resonate with actually how boring it is being an expat? If you haven't got purpose and how challenging it is. And I think, yeah, also, after what I experienced in Thailand, I am scared. You know, I'm scared of going to another culture, being a YouTuber, and getting into trouble again. Because essentially, that's what happened. I mean, it was jealous idiots. Je what's a better word for them? Jealous, broken, projecting, libtards are in a lot of pain themselves. Uh, but, you know, did it, really. But they did it using my YouTube. Uh, now, this time I am just going to be moving on because my goal, ah, that would be really cool. My goal is to see every country in the world that you're allowed to see. I know there's some, but just like North Korea, for example, which apparently isn't what we're told it is. Yeah, I watched a very interesting video a long time ago uh, where basically it's a total lie. North Korea is just a total lie. It's actually like a really well run state. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of evidence for it. I'm not saying it's right, I don't know, but like, nothing would surprise me because I just know that everything is a lie. Like, literally everything from the moment you're born, you are just lied to. The fact that they cut the umbilical cord in instead of letting it come off naturally. The fact that they tell you you're on a spinning fucking ball at 66,000. Basically, all the 666s six, six, six are in that. Like, if you look at the science about the Earth, 666 just comes up all the time and it is just the most ridiculous thing that people think that we're spinning around i mean if you just think about like if an airplane went up and the world and the earth's spinning that way the airplane wouldn't need to fucking move and how would it keep up with the earth everything is a lie anyway we're going off on lots of tangents again so i'm going oh now one other video i'm going to mention which has made me very happy is Jeff buys cars. I need to watch it. He's done a few on this chicken thing. So apparently, if you so you've got to register your chickens now in the UK because they're trying to control food supply. They definitely don't want you eating eggs because the most healthy thing ever. Hence the vegan agenda. Soy boy. Look at the ingredients of a vegan burger. They're all chemicals, palm oil, and soy instead of just beef. 100% beef. Oh, but red meat's really bad for you. Don't eat red meat. I mean, basically, everything they tell you not to do, you need to do. Eat salt, eat red meat, do everything that they tell you not to do, especially diet-wise. Eat lots of eggs. Don't worry about cholesterol. Um, definitely don't take statins. I've been speaking to loads of people on statins. I know. 
goodness, this has got very ranty. Ah, uh, yeah, basically, I'm really pissed off with living in a world where you're just completely lied to. Like, I'd rather live in a world, like, people, like, say some things about certain countries that I won't name, where, oh, there's no freedom of speech there, well, it's a dictatorship. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but there's actually a lot more freedom. And you actually wonder if a dictatorship is better. I mean, because we're in a dictatorship, but it's just presented as a dom democracy. The UK is completely... Like the, the tentacles of a deep state have got in the UK. I mean, Canada's fucking horrendous as well. Australia's pretty bad. Most of Europe. Certainly uh, Western Europe. Really bad. But the UK is where it all started. And they've just totally got us. Like, it's just awful here. Ah, it's not awful. It's very tyrannical. Very, very tyrannical. You can get put in prison now for writing a Facebook status if you're white. But if you've just got off a boat and you rape somebody, you just need to say sorry. And then we'll let you off. Because we want you to come and destroy the country. And that's actually true. They actually are bringing them in to destroy the country. That's exactly what they want. And that's best case scenario. I think they're bringing them in as an army. Because why are they all men? Why are they not bringing their families with them? Because they're soldiers going to war. If you're a refugee... <coughs> if you're a refugee... You bring your family with you. You bring your wife and child with you. If you're going to war, you leave them at home and you come and fight. So that's what's happening there. Anyway, let me know about all that in the comments. Give me a like and give me a subscribe. Please. And if you are really, really beautiful and really want to support what I'm doing, then check out the Patreon below it would be so appreciated thank you michael my number my only one my only patreon thank you so much for supporting me bro. all right that's enough people mm -hmm. oh yeah i did want to mention the chicken so i only be for listening to this video i'm gonna to listen to it again i'm gonna do my own version of it so i probably shouldn't tell you because jeff buys cutters is a way better one so go and check his out don't watch mine but i'm sure he said that it's two thousand pounds a bird and up to six months in jail if you don't register your chickens but apparently what a load of conscious people have done is they've gone on the DEFA website so I thought well, you had to pay a license but presumably you don't um, they've gone on the DEFA website and like <laughs> registered their roast chicken from Tesco and crashed the website and it's just brilliant absolutely brilliant I'm so into stuff like that I love it when people fuck over the government there was, that, there was that one in Scotland as well when we got that Muslim Prime Minister who basically said, everything's white here and it's really bad. It's Scotland, dickhead! They're white people, dickhead! Of course there's going to be white people in Parliament, dickhead! Fuck me! Ah, can you imagine going to Saudi Arabia and being like, oh, it's too Saudi here. We need to put a load of white people in. Like, they're just like, nah, how about we deport you? Case in point. I think my kid demands like that. But you know, like, it's just ridiculous. Like, why are we trying to change? <sighs> like, we don't try and change other countries, and other countries wouldn't let us change them because they respect their country and love their country. So why are we doing it here? Why are we destroying our country and making it Muslim? Like, no, it's not a Muslim country. i tell you about this video. <laughs> Chickens. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I think I need to stop, I'm too angry. Oh yeah, I was just telling a story about the Muslim Prime Minister of Scotland who didn't last long, I'm glad to say. The Scottish people fucked him off very fast. Because he brought him this ridiculous hate crime, didn't he? Where you could basically go to prison for saying a woman shouldn't have a dick. And it was all about Muslim bollocks, really. That's what they really wanted to bring in. They, they used the trans stuff to bring it in. But really, it was like, you can't speak out against the Muslim Muslimification of Scotland, that was the agenda, because that's how they're going to get us. Just make it all Muslim and Sharia law, I and mean, what the fuck can you do? Anyway, so the Scottish people started just reporting everything. Oh, they started reporting him, didn't they? They reported him for a hate crime, for speaking against white people. Because he did literally do a speech saying, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, white. The head of the police, white. The head of the fire service, white. I mean, what the fuck are you doing, bro? It's Scotland. Yes. People are white, dickhead. Anyway, I am going to end the video here. I'm really, 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 really going to end it. See you later. Cock.
You know what the daft thing is, the majority of us in some heat I quite like, like my gym's full of them. And yes, they gods on the floor, and yes, they shout at each other, and yes, they have no respect for anyone or themselves, and yes, they spit chewing gum in the showers. But, you know, I don't actually mind them that much on an individual level. But you know, we've got enough now. They've already got London, they've already got Luton, they've already got Badistan. That's enough. Let them keep them. We don't need any more, and we don't need them taking over the whole of the UK. Thank you, and goodbye! And these are just my opinions. I'm not imploring anyone to do anything. I'm not saying we should do anything, except maybe blow up Parliament, although there's no point because that's all just a fucking charade anyway. But you know, I'm not encouraging any violence here. Definitely not. I'm just speaking my truth as a native Englishman. Is that still okay, Keir, you fucking cunt? And this is fucking bullshit too. Why are they telling us about women's football? Fuck off. No one cares. It's fucking boring. Fuck you, woke bullshit. So, what does he make of that? I've had a good body pump session. I've lifted some weights. I've had a sauna. I've had a chat with my mates. And I'm feeling a lot calmer now. Editing that back. It's not actually as bad as I remembered it. I was like, well, that's going to get me in prison. But you know what? I really don't care. I, I really don't care. I'm actually about to do a video about how I, I would kind of want to go to prison. Because it's where all the best people are. It's where the chosen ones are who don't know they're chosen. So, you know, if I'm here to bring chosen ones to God, then probably the best place for me to be. And once you've been in a jail in Thailand, jail in the UK is like in kids club. But obviously I'd rather not. So just to be very clear, don't act on anything I say. I'm not telling anyone to do anything. And just an English man that likes ranting. And don't blow up the House of Parliament. The way to beat the system is to remove yourself from the system. Do the opposite of everything they say. Particularly when it comes to these things, jabs and diets, but everything, just everything, whatever they tell you, do the absolute opposite. Get your money out of the system, get into crypto, all of that, just get out of the system. That's how we beat them. And just in case he's still not sure and he's gonna project this racist bullshit card that everyone you know, uses now, here's me in my church paying with all my black friends, lots of them, who I love dearly. They're actually my favorite people, these people in the church and black people in general actually. I just think black people are the best. Not so much Muslims, but black people are great. So definitely not racist. Just a free thinker who's not scared of a fucking shutting down of free speech and isn't scared of Keir fucking Stalin. So Stalin can spin on that. Um, Muslims can do what they want as long as they don't try and convert me. And black people, love ya. And if you're not a triggered libtard, and you agree with what I'm saying, please like, subscribe, and share. It's really important, because not many people are willing to do this. There's not many people who are willing to put their freedom on the line to speak out against the bullshit. And the more people hear it, who are already aware, and you know, obviously we're not gonna fucking change complete zombies. They're just gonna die anyway, because they've all done that, haven't they? So that's no problem, they've all gone. But the people that can see what's happening but they're scared to speak out or they're scared to even speak to their family about it if they see people like me ranting and they see other people doing it it will give them confidence so please help me in that mission because that is my mission yes i want to be a youtuber yes i want to make money online but actually i want to spread truth so please help me like share subscribe 